Alright, so KOF collab patch notes are here. If you missed the stream, uh, this will be sort of a recap of what the characters that are coming will be and how they will operate. Um, uh, but this video that you're watching right here, I'll be mainly talking about the new characters, not the whole patch note, because the patch note goes extensively over just the KOF collab within, like... Okay, I want to talk about that in the next video then. Um, this is a new system that's being added to the game right here. A completely new system that will be increasing character stats. So I'm not even going to touch on that for this video because I have, like, I'm waiting for translations. I'm not going to just eyeball it in Japanese and, and, and say stuff. Mainly talking about the new characters uh, and just the KOF collab in general. So yeah, KOF collab finally. Another collab. Uh, we haven't had one in a while, actually. And they're bringing back the old KOF characters, the Kyo, Fina, Mai, and Wugo. And they're bringing now, together with them, um, um, Terry and... Yoni? Forgot his name. <laughs> Yori! Yori! Not Yoni. Yori. Um, how good are they? So we already had a reveal of basically what they do in practice, and we're going to talk about the animations and stuff. First, I actually wanted to translate, um, basically again, because I did a translation live on stream, but I felt like maybe it was a little bit weird. Um, but, Terry, all of these two, I feel like yours sounds a bit better, uh, but Terry has an interesting passive in which in PvP, uh, every single initial turn, like your ally turn, for one turn, he's going to lower all stats of the highest HP enemy by 20%. So the enemy with the highest HP on the enemy team at that turn is going to lose all stats by 20%. That's his passive. Only works in PvP. His first attack card is uh, a regular takeoff ultimate gauge attack card, just the same one as, like, Green Merlin. You know, the initial Green Merlin. And he has a counter card that has no taunt but is one of those counters that if the enemy attacks any of your characters it counters and it goes uh, as a level three it's for two turns but level one and two is one turn for two turns take a stance increases damage dealt by 50 percent and when all allies are attacked counter attack and deal 450 of the damage um of attack but just 450 of attack so you increase 50 percent damage dealt and then you do that one interesting thing is that you probably can actually pop the increased uh, damage dealt and then ult with him or um, attack, but his attack card is not going to do that much damage. His ult is inflicts 490 as a 1-6 uh, of attack power on all enemies. Um, um, and he has a power strike. So it's a power strike AoE. The, you do more damage based on enemies resistance wow power strike aoe huh hmm oh it says something about three does it does he get something at three six? Oh, he gets something at three six okay he gets an extra crack shot crack shoot at three six he gets an extra... Or am I, am I tripping? I think I'm tripping. Like, that, that tax at the bottom... The tax at the bottom sounds like uh, Margaret. Like, where she gets 6-6, six, six, he gets something. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. Okay. So that was Terry. Uh, we're gonna talk about his stats and his animations in a second. I'm just gonna go to... Yori for a second here, talk about what he does. His passive is very confusing. His passive, you can see, is very long. And essentially, what it does is, for each ignite effect on the enemy, when you're using your skill, the damage dealt increases by 7%. And after using the skill, you increase your attack-related uh, stats by 6% for 3 turns, up to 5 times. So... He depends on the enemy having ignites on them. So, uh, but increases, is it 7% per ignite? Increases damage dealt per ignite. So, instead of doing 
extra damage when you attack and ignite enemy, you do 17% basically. That sounds good, but you need a character who's going to be igniting the units. It's like Monspy or something, like Green Monspy. Um, then his attack cards, uh, 425, that's uh, Cold Destruction. Uh, deals an increased 20% for each uh, debuff. Oh, Cold Destruction is, the, is just Detonate. Um, so Detonate, same card as Green Draw. Uh, the AoE is Infect, the same Infect as Merlin. And the ultimate is the same ultimate as blue, like brawl. It's just Brawler Bond, where he takes off three ultimate gauge. It's um, mm, like on paper, these characters don't sound the greatest. Like they don't sound meta, if I'm being honest. The banner. So they're going to be 0.5% uh, because only two characters. And of course, the four new. The four old characters are going to come back. They're probably going to be just 0.25 each, if I had to guess. If I open up the Korean... If the Korean have al has already posted, I can actually see. But I'm not so sure if they have. So this will be the banner. And at 600, of course, you get a guaranteed. Or you, you can, you know, pick which one that you want. And uh, just the usual uh, collab banner stuff. Uh, animations, let's... Um, Talk about let's watch the animation so let me pause the music this is the live stream <laughs> and they played the attack why are the why are the images look like this? okay let me not let me not hear myself that's a little cringe but they, they i was gonna say the images look like they're not properly drawn maybe i'm tripping um people in my chat were a little disappointed i'm not you know that big on KOF as a franchise, so I, I didn't like know prior any of his moves or anything. Uh, so I, I can't have an opinion on that really. Um, but people in my chat that know Terry was said it was a little, a little disappointing, but again, I, I actually cannot <laughs> tell you if I also agree with that. I'm looking, bro, I'm looking for the Korean one, okay. Because the Korean one, they put the rates of each character on the banner. So these are the this is the, the animation so far. Okay, well, the KOF, the other KOF club characters are not featured in any way. It's going to be the same rates as any other character in the banner. So if you want a specific character from the old collab, good luck. But at least the new characters do have a higher rate than um, usual collab characters have. Oh, I like that aura that he has around him. So at 6'6", six, six, it goes to 735 AoE with Power Strike. That's not bad. That's actually not bad. Uh, they did have PvP gameplay of the characters. Uh, so these are the animations. They did have PvP gameplay of the characters. I'm not going to show the cosmetics because they honestly don't look that good. Uh, <laughs> the characters for the, the cosmetics for Yori do look good. Oh, stats wise. So they didn't show the stats properly because they have like their webcam in front. But 56% crit chance. So he's not he's not a crit base unit. Decent pierce. Decent resist. No, very low resistance actually. They do like, bro, why do they put the camera right there? Like, we can't see the defensive stats. So cringe. Or, the, like, crit resistance is such an important stat now. Such an important stat. And they're just covering their camera. Covering with the camera. And try to snag. Okay. It seems like 57% crit resistance. Ugh. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm hating on Terry uh, too much, but he doesn't look like the greatest character ever. Yori, the my emo king. Uh, he looks so sad. Okay, decent CC actually. Keep in mind, um, I'm not talk I haven't mentioned yet, but all the KOF characters are getting holy relics, but they're gonna be easy to acquire. They will not use the holy relic materials from the regular holy relics. They will use a separate material that you'll be able to easily farm. They 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 they, they said easily. Okay. That there's their words. Easily farm through the event. 
So other characters are going to be talking about their holy relics as well. They're all going to be um, acquirable, but for every player that has the characters. So just keep that in mind. Um, so let's let's move on to the animations. Okay. Oh, I think I moved on too much. Okay. This is when they're going to show the animations. Um, I, I actually like this guy more than Terry. Maybe I'm biased. I think, because so, we saw the gameplay, and he hit really hard with his level 1 cold destruction. Or detonate, that one. But the enemy had, like, so many ignites on him. So many. So, like, you kind of need Kyo. Um, and if you're going to use Kyo... You're going to use this guy as well. It's like, who else am I going to use on that team, right? You can't use Green Goffer's passive. That's kind of sick. You can't use Green Goffer's passive. Um, maybe the Festival Green Goffer? You could use, just for just for the sake of like not letting him cleanse the Ignites. But then at the same time, it's like, is he the best DPS? I could be using someone else. Or, um... Like, let's say, if you, if you were using Keo before, and you were using Green Merlin, is he better than Green Merlin? Because he has the same idea as Green Merlin. But that single target... Is that single target going to hit harder than Power Strike? I'm not so sure. I mean, they're going to have the Ignites on him, right? Maybe if he builds up his, his attack increase thingy, he'll be hitting harder. That AoE is kind of sick. Um, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I think his animations look sick. People people are complaining that Terry doesn't look that good. He looks too skinny. Uh, again, I don't have much of a of a like comparison because I've never played a game with him. Uh, but they weren't complaining so much about this guy, so there's something to keep in mind. His animation looks just like Bon, sort of. Where he's just like... Yeah. That just looks like Bon's ultimate, doesn't it? Um, Brawler Bon. So, he looks cool. I like him. Um, for his cosmetics. Th this cosmetic looks like... Looks like how I wanted it to be when I was 15 years old. That That is literally how I wanted it to look when I was 15 years old. So, that, so that's sick. I'm definitely using that one. Um, I found as I aged that that's not a good look. For most people. But, that's sick. Um... Okay, they, they have like okay, they had like recommendations. They were recommending Terry to be used with Keo and Asterosa. So I'm 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 trying that I guess. Um where is the Yuri recommendations? I don't see. So they, they had PvP gameplay, but the PvP gameplay was them facing a mirror match. That was just Like the, it was so bad. It was so bad. The only time I actually want to, the only thing I actually like really want to show is this. So, was it here? Was it before? Was it after? I think it was before. Oh yeah, they recommended to use um, Yuri with Monspeed and Keo as well. Red Monspeed. This is the second time they played. I think it was the second time they played, where they played against each other. Um. Might have been where Yori's level one did actually really good damage on Kyo, like without building up at all. So that was pretty sick. Maybe it was now. No, it wasn't. Yeah, you saw the counter. They attacked Kyo and uh, Terry countered. At some point, they did. I think it was, yeah, I think it was here. No. Well, maybe? Yeah, yeah. That, that was quite good damage for, like, green. Plus, I, I think it was a different time. But it was a green type disadvantage level 1 and did good damage. So I was pretty impressed with that. Um, and they showed the Holy Relics. Um, oh, man. <laughs> Uh, I do remember what most of the Holy Relics do. Um, so, Terry's Holy Relic. This is going, like, so out of order. It's just... They dropped so much information! Um, Terry's Holy Relic. 
is when he puts up a stance, he uh, cleanses all debuffs on him. And for two turns, increases all stats by 20%. I am actually checking this. Oh my god. My Google, my Google Translate said that it, doesn't, it didn't work. Um, but yeah, he cleanses... Um, which is nice, again, for, this is, count this as his actual, uh, like, an, an ability that he's going to, current, like, have forever, because this is, for what they said, very easy to acquire, these holy relics. Yeah, increase, uh, um, either all stats or basic stats increase by 20%, so, that is quite good. Um, and then Yuri's holy relic, I do recall... Is decreases enemy yeah decreases enemies pierce critical chance and critical damage uh, for each I guess debuff on enemy it was really difficult to translate but when we get full like I wanted to mo mostly talk about the characters but these are li like all Google translations right here <laughs> because um, no one is really translating Grand Cross stuff anymore. We're we're during we're 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 in sad times now, boys. No one really cares for Grand Cross anymore, except me, basically. So I'm the one doing the translations manually. Um, Kyo's Holy Relic uh, at the beginning of turn, instead of doing two ignites on all enemies, one random enemy will have four ignites on him ex instead of two. So that's his Holy Relic. Uh, Mai's Holy Relic, I recall is uh, when you proc her passive, or it doesn't have to proc her passive, but when she, has bu when she has a buff on her, increases all allies' basic stats by 15%. Or, sorry, all allies' attack stat by 15%. Not all basic stats, but just attack stat by 15%. Um, so that's hers. Athena's is that if uh, a hit on her deals more than 30% of her HP, she heals 40% of damage dealt. So that's Athena. And Rugal's is every time he gets hit, up to five times, he increases his pierce rate by 10%. So up to 50 times if he gets hit five times. So those are the Holy Relics. Again, count these as abilities that will be on your KOF character because, like they said, it, it's going to be easy to get. That's it for the KOF characters. Um, I don't know. These don't sound as powerful as I wish they were. Um, but we will see them, how, how they perform in game. It's always like a, a toss, right? Sometimes characters sound way more powerful than they actually are. Sometimes they sound way worse than they actually are. And I think I will hold my full judgment for when I use them. Uh, the only issue is that tomorrow... I don't know, man. Tomorrow the slime game comes out. And I'm definitely going to be covering the slime game. So... The showcases for them will definitely be delayed. Um, oh yeah, they're releasing another costume for the KOF characters. Oh, it's not here. Um, except Rugal. I'm assuming Rugal is going to come with uh, the, the super boss. Um, Kyo, Athena, and Mai. Funny that they got a new cosmetic set before Assault Melee. Um... Uh, select is this a select ticket? 30 bucks for a select ticket. But I'm assuming you can only select an old character. That was what the leak was, so. Um, usual bundles. I'm actually quite excited for the skip tickets. <laughs> uh excited for one pack. Um Okay, they added the the, the KOF characters to the shop. And I'm assuming it is if you get if you get three of one KOF coin, you can select you can like select for a different KOF coin. Man, I wish I had saved my my coins. Oh, I'm never using collab character coins again. Oh, if I knew, I had so many my coins. Oh, I used for super awakening. That is so unfortunate. So unfortunate. Yeah, the, the holy relics. But these are the materials, and for what I could see, the materials are obtainable by a Rugal Super Boss 
and uh, an activity that they're going to release. That arcade activity. Um, okay, I'm going to talk about the rest of the stuff in another video when I actually get translations for it. Because um, I, I don't want to stutter more than I usually do. Uh, one thing though, the PC version is getting a portrait mode, which is fantastic, actually. No, the P the, honestly, the PC mode is the best thing they've done in a long time. Like, out of any, like, project and, and thing that they started, the PC mode, the, the PC port is the best thing they've done in so long. I think that it was not the same team that actually manages the game. Alright. So, um, that's it for now. I'm going to be talking about this in a separate video uh, later today when we get translations for it. And that's it.